full swing across mid-Michigan. We begin at 530 with a live look from our sky cam over US 127 in East Lansing. Traffic moving smoothly right now. Five o'clock right now and that traffic looking pretty good. Yeah. You can expect plenty of company as you head to your holiday destination. AAA predicts a record 71 million people across the country will travel this weekend. A record high number of travelers are also expected to hit the roads here in Michigan. News 10's Mars Anderson is live along US 127 in Holt right now with more. Hey Mars. And in David, yes, there are about 2.6 million Michiganders hitting the road for the Independence Day holiday. They could even be on US 127 right behind me. I'm at a rest stop out in Holt, so I've seen a lot of families stop by here, a few trucks, a few cars. Now, like I said, this is a rest stop, so you may want to get some gas, which is also seeing a record high. According to AAA, gas prices are up 16 cents higher than last week. You can pay an average of $55 for a full 15 gallon tank of gas. And once you hit the road, Michigan's Department of Transportation is pausing construction and removing lane restrictions on 60% of projects. I spoke with travelers who say even so, they're still expecting slight delays. It's about an hour, 15 minutes. I'm anticipating a little bit of traffic, but super excited. We always anticipate traffic when we go up north, um, especially since we're usually, usually commuting on Fridays. But um, we're definitely expecting some traffic and to take it slow with closures and things like that. Um, I'm coming from Kalamazoo, so I know how bad it is over there right now. So I'm kind of anticipating the same thing. You hit the road, you're going to want to check your tires, your brakes, and also your fluid as well. Have that safety kit on hand just in case any emergencies occur. And most importantly, travel, enjoy, and be safe. Reporting live in Holt, Mars Anderson, News 10. All right, Mars, thank you. In less than a half 